Hi everyone. Uh, I thought for today I'd start um, the video and put together my weekly log for the next week. So this is the current week that I'm working on and I'm going to set up January 11 to 17. Okay, so what I do for this particular um, journal, the Altered Book Bullet Journal, the whole process, um, there's a video um, from Barbara uh, of 49 Dragonflies that I watched. And what she did um, is she altered a book. So this is a book. This is, a, this is the title of the book I'm working on. And then what you do is just you take some pages off and then you glue some pages together and then you use that as the base for your um, for your bullet journal so i have this next page i already set up some pages for january so i won't be able to show you how i do that maybe in the february setup video if i'm able to film that i'll show you how i put together the pages from the actual book but this is the page that I'm currently working on and for January, I'm working on the Bluebirds and Blossom kit from Tina of Shabby Dabby Duda. And these are the pages that I pulled out from the background um, part of the kit. And what I'm going to do in, is I'm going to decide on the page that i'm going to use for my next weekly journal maybe these two because i think they're lighter and i can write more in them so what i'll do i'll just trim down uh the border because my paper is a4 and i just print straight from the kit I don't, you know, alter it anymore because I'm lazy like that. But my paper is A4. So I like working with A4 paper and I think this is 100 GSM. So a little bit thicker than the regular um, copy paper or bond paper that they get here in the Philippines. So look, I looked for the... 100 GSM one and then I bought a rim <laughs> so that I don't need to keep buying it okay so that's going to be my background page so I just need see it it just fits perfectly to cover the text so maybe what I'll do is I'll just cut this in half I think I didn't cut the sides anymore. I just cut it like that. So I'll glue it over there and then this one I'll glue over here. And then I also bought the this new kit from Heather of um, Ruby and Pearl XO. And she has this printables for um, monthly ledgers. This is the one for January, and I thought I can use it for um, embellishments and a, you know, decoration for the page. So I'll just cut this again and see how I can use it. I also like the texty part, so maybe I can use that too. I don't um, over decorate my weekly pages because I like you know to have a lot of room to write in my bullet journal how I'm using this one is I don't write in my daily meetings because I have my work meeting for that so I just write in the time blocks so you know time for breakfast or all the morning routines that I need to do and then I just um, add a block of time for work and then during that time what I use is my work journal and then I'll come back to this for other, you know, activities that I need to do for the day. 
Okay. Maybe I can have this here. So I'll work with one page first. And it, it's easier. This one I'll cut again. And then for the days, in the previous page, I used this uh, tickets from um, chapter one, papers, I think. Uh, maybe I'll use that again. See if I have. So I have this little box of small ephemera that I already cut so that I can just rummage. Sorry about that. Really noisy. I'll tricycle. Maybe I'll just rummage through here to get, you know, what I want to use. But I really want to use um, a similar one, mostly because I don't want to think about it anymore, so that I know it works. Maybe I can use different tickets. This is horizontal. I need to use horizontal ones. Let's see if I have seven already printed. Okay, I have one. So this is how it looks like. And it just works really well with this color of blue. So let me just find seven more, oh no, six more of those from this pile. not very organized as you can see but you know I, I have a lot of fun looking through the different stuff that I have here that's another one no I don't think this is um, this is probably my porch prints not chapter one I'll have to check just um, Please check the description. I'll, I'll link everything I use. Mm, cute bunny. One, two, three, four, three more. Sorry, bump my head there. Last one. Maybe I'll use this for next next time. But I really want to have a little bit of consistency. Okay. So I'll be using this. Maybe, I don't know if I want to use the bunny. We'll see. One, two. Is it the same? No. Three. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, we have a lot. Okay, have those. Okay, and then the next um, thing is I also decorate some parts of it, like this one, um, this page. I have. I added in this flower, which is not part of this paper, but part of the kit. And then a definition. And then this side, I just have some numbers and um, a big stamp, postage stamp. I'll think about the decorations later, but these are like the crucial elements of my, um, my page. So we can start gluing it now thinking if I want to ink no okay maybe the January cover I'll ink that one I really love this glue uh, 
from Mon Monmart. It's art glue. I just got it from Shopee. But um, the the tube or you know the container is really hard to squeeze, especially if you're getting to the last you know bit of the glue. Still far from from that. Still have a lot in this tube, but sometimes it hurts my hand to squeeze the glue out. So what I'm thinking is buying one of those squeezy tubes with the metal tip. But I haven't found one in Shopee or Lazada. Trying to look for those so that it's, you know, easier. Doesn't take quite as long to, you know, put glue on all of these pages. Because I, I use glue a lot because I've been working with a lot of digital prints. I don't know, towards the la latter part of last year, I discovered digital prints. So I've been buying a ton. And I just got my own printer as well. So I've been printing, I've been getting so much digital printables and, you know, printing so much. But it's fun. And I like digital printables because you can, you know, obviously print as many as you like and there are so many beautiful kits to choose from um, in Etsy so I get a lot of questions about you know not just my bullet journal but my um, junk journal a lot of people ask me about the digital kits that I have um, so what I'll start doing is maybe I'll I'll give this one as well um, I have started adding in, you know, where I get the kits from. I don't remember <laughs> where I get all of my kits except for, you know, the ones that I, I'm currently working on. Um, so for this one, like, you know, I know that this is a kit from Tina. But I'll try to include them in the description box as much as I can. So that you guys would know where to get those two. Okay, so this is the next page. Um, there's a lot of, like you know, material over here that will be a bit hard to write over, but that's okay. But this is because this is the second page in the weekly spread, so I know that that's going to be the weekend part. And usually during the weekend, I don't write a lot of to dos or you know things i need to do because i want to as much as possible i want my weekends to be you know free and relaxing but if there are important things i do need to write them down okay so this is the next page which i'll make sure that it's a little bit aligned So I don't know for February if I'll want to cover, you know, the background page. I think I like it like this. So you can still see a little bit of the book um, rather than cover it up fully. I don't know. Right now I'm enjoying that one. How that looks. This one, maybe I'll ink. So I'm using tea dye for this one. So it's, I usually work with um, vintage photo, but I don't know, just want to try this out. So it's not as dark. I guess the printable already looks nice. adds a little a little more dimension so I'll put this over here because it's my weekly log for January 
So this is, uh, I think, French. I don't know what that says, but I know this is January. Not that I know, no. <laughs> Only because it's a monthly ledger from the kit and there's one for each month. Okay, adding in glue all over. This glue dries really fast. So even if, you know, you put a lot in the page, it's okay. Or in the paper, it's okay. So it'll dry quickly. Just make sure to press it, um, especially here in the corner towards the binding because sometimes that's the part that, you know, lifts. Okay. I think this particular layout worked well for me. So I'll just do the same. Unless I want to make it like that by four. Yeah, that will work. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday. Saturday. that I covered this part, I won't be able to write over that anyway. Okay. I don't know if I want to cover this part as well because it already has a cute image. Maybe I can just add like a small something like this coordinates oh and <clears throat> I also have these really pretty um, PT washi so maybe I can use this blue one should we use the blue ones I already have pre-cut one so maybe i'll just choose or decide for the leaves if i want to yeah and maybe each one mm. okay let's see okay i'll put that in there and then these are i cut some last night because i'm working on uh, another project and then these are the ones that i want for wasn't able to use up. <clears throat> Maybe just one. This is the part I'm, I'm looking to add onto. Yeah, maybe like that. Okay, let's start adding in. Doesn't matter what, you know, what ticket I use um, and then maybe I'll ink these up to of my former colleagues in Mercer watching it um, so yeah I started watching it and I am now on season three and I like that Olivia Coleman is in there as the you know the queen I'm on I'm only on season one. Oh no um, episode one of season three so I know that Princess Diana is you know coming into the picture soon so also looking forward to that this 
one. And aside from that, um, not really watching anything else. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I am watching forensic files um, prior to that, but I've stopped it over the holidays because I, you know, I just wanted to watch <laughs> something more, you know, festive. So yeah, if you have any recommendations, podcasts as well. So the podcast that I usually listen to are true crime ones so i've been a long time murder you know so i watch you know listen to a lot of my favorite murder so that's the kind i like it's about true crime but it's not very serious and then of course case file and then criminal um and then i really enjoyed a lot of the what do you call that one off um podcasts like you know about um the heart i forgot what it's called but it's about broken hearts i think about the heart family where you know there's a couple um who adopted these kids and then um, there were allegations that you know they weren't treating the kids really well and then the the parents um, the adoptive parents committed um suicide so they drove their van off a cliff and there were no su survivors so that was a really sad story and then i also of course dirty john uh, i listened to that one as well and um i forgot what it's called uh pain Lindsay's. um that was really really popular because it help broke the case um you know get new leads from a case that's been buried for a long time and hasn't moved for a long time so i watch i listen to two seasons of those and then i stopped um i think i also listened to the shrimp next door it's really really compelling and of course uh the one about um what's your name uh, i forgot what it's called but this um documentary about this lady with a deep voice uh who founded the company and then saying that you know one drop of blood then you can already check what's wrong with the person um, medically uh, forgot what it's called yeah I listened to that I listened to the podcast and I think there's also a book with Elizabeth Holmes about Elizabeth Holmes is it that is that her name but yeah I also listened to that one really loved it as well enjoyed it so if you have podcast recommendations for me hit me up in the comments let me know okay so we'll add this here and for the days what i just do is i use um a really good brush pen uh, from sailor I have a set of these and this is the color that I use for this month so it's going to be January 11 to what did I say 17 right January nope 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 let's look here so 11 to 17 I usually um, start on a Monday for my weekly I know some people start on the weekends but I don't know I'm just used to doing that so I'll write over and then I'll just turn my 
make the date smaller. some of these leaves um, yeah. maybe I'll just stick this first I don't want to cover the cute bow but maybe I, I, I'll need to yeah there are a lot of other bows here anyway this in just as an additional element really not that this page needs any more elements but just like to have something there yeah it looks nice okay and then maybe we can add in some leaves yeah. I was going to pre-cut these last night but I don't know stopped because I wanted to sleep already just wanted to catch some sleep and then I thought I'd continue cutting these today The weekend is usually my crafting day and chores as well so I have to balance the two I don't like this much space here so I'll cut maybe I'll cut that out okay Sorry about the background noise. I don't know if you can hear the dogs really going crazy. I don't know why. I don't know if I need like individual leaves here coming out the name the days. Let's try one out and then see if I like it or if it's you know too much already. And I need to stop. Sometimes I struggle with knowing when to stop with the decorations. There, here. if these tiny ones will work better lots and lots of road activity today as you can hear sorry about that I think there it works you know let's see if it because i want it to be consistent maybe there okay maybe i'll add it by the number um, that works there as well maybe this one doesn't work because there's flowers already but i want it to be consistent so maybe i'll just add it by the numbers have enough here I don't want to open the roll again but let's 
cut out still tiny ones maybe this part i'll also speed up so that you just see the end part yeah i'm really liking you know being back in bullet journaling i stopped journaling bullet journaling for quite a few months last year i think around september september up to december i don't have i didn't have a bullet journal so i just used my work uh, planner and then I didn't have one for all of the other things and I really missed it so I'm glad that you know um, I came across that video from Barbara and then I just knew that I needed to do it I needed to um, put together my own altered book bullet journal and yeah, I think I'll be continuing this system hopefully for a number of years because I've been bullet journaling I don't know if you, you're new to the channel or my IG I've been bullet journaling since 2017 and I you know like all bullet journalers I guess there were some months that I didn't use my journal um, but I still set it up because of course I want it to be there if and when you know I want to use it or I need to use it but never you know for such a long period of time have I not set up my journal and that's what happened late last year and I missed it oh no I think I'm missing one I don't know if I want to use it because it's cut. But, yeah. I don't want to waste it. I'll just use this one. It's okay if it's cut. Okay. And that's it, I think. Um, don't need to do anything else but this is how the spread looks I'll write in all of the um, things I need to do for the week um, later today thanks for watching